Hello, in this short lecture we talk uh, about the characters in the great poem The Night in the Panther Skin. Uh, the brave and loyal knights of Tandile and Tariel, uh, these two characters represent the most uh, devoted uh, friends and tender lovers. Both uh, heroes capable of courtly love and uh, men endowed uh, with uh, free will. They initially were actively involved and served the kingdoms and position of modern steward or mayor of the palace. Besides their position, they only obey their beloved, that is to say, Tinatin and Nestan, Nestan Darajan. Therefore, their love and dedication is unwavering. The mutual uh, commitment and friendship they swear also extends to a third person, Nuradin Pedon, who is the uh, who is in the, Nuradin Pedon is the ruler of uh, the city Mulbazanzar, who is also endowed with the same heroic qualities. Tariel is, however, distinguished by his wild character as symbolized by his wearing the panther skin. The qualities associated with uh, the cat is the dedication and courage is uttered and, uh, is uttered and uh, violence could be extreme and uncontrollable. It is also close to St. George slaying the dragon whose cult was particularly strong in the 12th century, especially in the episode for Tariel kills a lion, a lion and a panther. So actually the story about the lion and the tiger uh, is from the uh, from uh, St. George that uh, uh, that uh, uh, slay the dragon uh, from that uh, uh, what happened in the 12th century he uh, thought about the story of Tariel that kills a lion and a panther. Then we have the faithful, uh, faithful and patient lovers, Tinatin and the standard John. Although they take little action, the female characters, Tinatin and the standard John, are constant, uh, constantly present in thoughts of the knights of Tandim and Tariel and serve to give the narrative tension as a whole. Princesses higher in social rank than their servant knights are inspired by Queen Tamar, that was the Queen of Georgia, uh, the Queen of uh, the country Georgia. Uh, so is inspired by Queen Tamar or reflect the fact that each of them is uh, the sovereign in their own realm. Like Queen Tamar that was the king of Georgia, Tinatin was sovereign of uh, the country of Arabia and the Sadarajan was sovereign the country of India. Tinatin chooses uh, her own husband, which uh, references Queen Tamar, who also chose her second husband. 
as a whole as the sovereign. Okay, Queen Tamar was the sovereign of Georgia and also Tianjin was the sovereign of uh, the country of Arabia. And her father, that is to say, Tianjin's father, Osteban, sitting his throne to his daughter, references King George III of Georgia, who was succeeded by her daughter in 1178 after his death. Tianjin is a static character who leaves no time to court of her father in Arabia. She himself uh, actually orders her beloved uh, Abdaldin to go and search for uh, the mysterious knight in three years, promising uh, him uh, in return to marry him. And also uh, asks him uh, to find uh, Tariel's beloved Nestanda Rajan. But she only orders, but she is not active. She only gives order, but she and herself is not active. And uh, Nestan, a prisoner in distance regions, that is to say, in the country of the Kaji, is also passive. Nestan Dorajan, the beloved of Tariel, was abducted twice. But uh, she herself is not active. Okay, she even don't uh, give any orders to anyone. She has the uh, servant uh, a smart, but uh, uh, you don't uh, see in the poem that she gives any order to anyone. So that is to say she is passive. Uh, but their confidence, that is to say the confidence of the standard John and Tina Tin, right, their confidence, righteousness, shows uh, these uh, two women being paid, uh, paid for fell and respective lovers. As for Patman, she is an altered representation of their type. The type that is to say, uh, the type of uh, Tina Tin is in the stand, in the stand. Uh, but an adult, uh, adult, uh, adult, uh, adulters uh, during the absence of her husband Hussein. Actually, she betrayed her husband Hussein by uh, falling in love with uh, Abdandil. So she was actually a daughter. Uh, Patman takes little account of her family honor because she betrays her husband, Hussein, as she humiliates her husband, Hussein, on account of his bodily defects. Her character is true to life from the artistic point of view. Despite everything, she is, that is to say, Patman, she is capable of displaying both affection, affection to Aftandil, she falls in love in, 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 with Aftandil, and she shows affection towards Aftandil, and sincere warmth to uh, and sincere one peculiar to a woman. Okay. She spares no effort to serve Nestan. It is very characteristic that when Patman learns of uh, the purpose of Abdandil's journey, the purpose of Abdandil's uh, journey was to find uh, Tariel's beloved Nestan Darajan. 
So when she hears, uh, when she learns of the purpose of, of this journey, she makes no attempt to keep uh, the men of the deal she loves at her side even for a short time. She, that is to say, she actually let him go to try to find the real uh, beloved, the standard of Okay, thank you very much.